Hey, you guys. Today, you guys, I'm working on a beautiful piece of wall art. I actually had a sample, but I don't know. Oh, I did a smaller one just to like test it and make sure it's going to work. Um, and this is a piece that I made and I thought it came out so pretty. So today we're going to learn how to emboss. And I know that a lot of you are used to embossing for like card crafts and paper crafts, but you can absolutely integrate it into your home decor as well. So we're going to make a wall plaque today using several things. We'll be using um, Ion Orchid Designs wood blanks. I love these wood blanks. You can use the front of them or you can use the back of them and have a framed piece. And I'll be using an eight by 10 cradle today. And then we'll also be using the new sunflower stamp. You guys, the stamp is fabulous. Um, this is what it looks like in the package. And this is just some of the examples of what you get, but I'll show you guys the stamps individually. Um, I've already used this one. This is the one we'll be using today, but you guys see how much openness is in the stamp. Like that's what I love. And that's what creates all the opportunities um, with these, with the new stamp format. Um, on the same one, you also get this huge sunflower. It's absolutely huge. And then of course you have stems, a turned leaf and a regular leaf. Um, and you get like this sunflower that's kind of looking at the sun and two other leaves and then each of the IOD stamps also come with a mask and so what the mask does is allow you to um, cover portions of your your um, stamps on your page when you're stamping so that you can layer without muddying up the places where your stamps overlap I'm gonna have to do a video on masking I really need to do that and so um, I'm also gonna be using some clear embossing ink and some gold um, embossing powder so the color that we're going to be using today is one of my favorites is wise owl paint it's stock synthesis paint and this is inkwell it's like a super dark delicious navy i love this color um, and i'll be painting using my totally beat up um, wise owls micro edge brush which is the brush i prefer for smaller projects so oh I almost forgot. My name is Royce Hunt Bell, owner and operator of Roy Cycled Treasures. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. Um, let's get started on making our project. <music> likely to slide at all so you're more likely to get a really nice crisp stamp um, and it absorbs readily into the paint but 
if you stamp and you don't like it or you make a mistake, you're gonna have to paint over because you are, you know, stamping onto a porous surface and it is gonna absorb it right away. Um, if you're painting, if you're stamping, if I were to seal this first and then stamp, um, I'm more likely to have some slippage, not a ton, but it's just more likely you have to be a little cautious. You're gonna load less product on your stamp. Um, so you have to be a little bit more cautious when you stamp over a sealed surface. But the benefit is if you do make a mistake, you can just wipe it off. So it just depends on what you prioritize, um, how you do that. I prefer to stamp over, um, over regular just chalk paint. That's just my own personal preference. And so I have this beautiful um, sunflower that I'm gonna be using on this piece. And I kind of want to have it off edge a little bit. I don't want it to be totally on. So I think I'm going to stamp it this way. And then I may bring this other side in the corner right here. That's what I'm thinking. And so I'm just going to take my ink pad um, and I'm going to pat it over the surface of my flower um, just to make sure that I get full coverage. I'm probably going to make a couple of passes over this flower. Now you guys know when you open your brand new stamps, that you want to take like a 220 or 300 grit sandpaper and you want to lightly sand your stamps in both directions. Um, this prepares your stamp so that it um, has a bit of a tooth and it'll hold product a lot better, whether it's ink or paint or embossing ink, you guys. These stamps are so versatile. I love, love, love them. Yesterday, I did a... Um, paper collage piece using this very stamp. So I was able to stamp on all the different pieces of paper and then fussy cut out the petals and build me a collage um, sunflower. It was really fun. I'll have to do a video on that one day. So I'm going over you guys. I just wanna make sure that I have coverage everywhere so that when I put on my embossing powder, um, that I have that beautiful gold over the whole flower. And you can look from the side to kind of see um, what areas are wet and what areas aren't. So I am simply going to take my stamp and the rules are all the same. I'm gonna set it, you know, just straight down. And once I set it down, you guys, I don't wanna shift it. And so I'm being very mindful. And then I'm gonna go over, I'm holding it still with this hand and I'm taking my right hand and just kind of making sure that each part of the stamp makes contact with the surface so that um, I have a really nice um, crisp stamp on the surface. And I can capture all those yummy details. And then when I'm ready, I just pick it straight up. And you can't see anything yet, really, but it's a little bit shinier is all you can really see. But I'm wanting to put a little bit more in this corner. Um, and so I'm trying to see, I use this side there. So I'm gonna use this side in the corner. And I'm gonna load a little bit more on there just to make sure that I have coverage. And I think I'm just gonna put the petals on there. You guys get to come and follow me inside my brain. I know it can be a scary place sometimes, but when I'm here um, creating by myself, I talk through things as well. Only I'm the only one here to listen. <laughs> but nobody listens better than I do. So it's all good. My mom used to always say, it's okay to talk to yourself as long as, long as nobody talks back. But I don't know. I have a pretty two-sided conversation with myself, you guys. Same process. Um, I just want a little bit just to balance that out, I think it's gonna be super gorgeous. So I have my embossing fluid on there and while it's still wet, you guys, I'm gonna go in with my embossing powder and I'm just gonna sprinkle that over the top. Now, the last time I did this on a live, there were a lot of people who said they had never embossed before um, and so they were afraid. You guys, legit, this is my third time ever embossing. It is super easy. It is super easy. And you'll love it because the results are fabulous. And then some of you said that you've used embossing with your card crafts, but you never thought about doing it with home decor. So whatever craft, like, um, 
skill that you have, just remember that whatever you learn is always transferable. It doesn't have to be stuck in one genre or another one. Now, this is a lot of embossing powder, you guys, and I don't want to waste it. So you can use paper, but I'm using a paper plate and I'm just going to crimp it right there to make myself a little funnel. And I'm going to pour that excess onto my plate because I do not want to waste any of this goodness. And pour that back in my jar and I'll save all that goodness for another project another day now I have a lot of loose <laughs> powder on my surface so I'm actually going to take a makeup brush um, and this is just a Dollar Tree makeup brush you guys and I'm gonna brush some of that off usually I don't mind if there's like a little bit that sticks um, but I don't want a ton. I really want my design to be the star um, and not have the dust everywhere. So you can always just brush off the excess if you get it somewhere where you don't want it. So it's not a deal breaker. Just super light. These bristles, I love this brush because um, these bristles are really, really soft. And so I can get away with this. That might be kind of cool though, that little spray. I think I'll leave that. I always discover what I'm doing. So there are those of you who watch video after video and you're waiting for the perfect moment to get creative or to do a project. And I wanna encourage you guys to just do it. To just do it. The magic happens when you start making um, and you start experimenting and you start discovering. And you'll find that the more you make, um, the more your own creative voice will become. So this is just a craft dryer, you guys. Um, I'll put the link to this in my, um, in the comments below, but um, it's actually an embossing, I call it a craft dryer because I use it to dry everything, but this is actually what its purpose is for. It's gonna heat up and it's gonna heat up that powder and then that's when the magic happens. And you see how the heat just makes it just this absolutely gorgeous gold color. As the powder melts, it becomes more metallic. And I'm just going now and just heating up the little pixie dust that we left sprayed over um, the cradle. And there we have it, you guys. Look how simple and easy that project was. You guys can absolutely do this. So um, just to retrace our steps, I painted the cradle, right? We used the wood cradle for this project. Um, I painted it my color of choice. You can choose your color. I use Iron Orchid Designs Sunflower Stamp with clear embossing ink and I um, loaded my stamp and stamped it on the surface. I sprinkled the embossing powder. You guys, they come in so many colors. The copper is fabulous. You guys already saw the copper piece that I did. But you can find there's rose gold, there's all kinds of colors. Um, and you can even do clear and then paint this. I'll do that video one day. Um, and the clear embossing acts as a resist so that the cells maintain themselves when you're painting. It's a really cool process, you guys. We'll do that one day too. But, um, and then you heat up your embossing um, powder and it turns into this absolutely beautiful gold, copper, rose gold, whatever color you choose on top of your dark surface. And so you can create um, home decor or you can create gifts for your friends and family. You can absolutely go in and stamp a word or something in here and use the embossing fluid or maybe just go in with a transfer or um, a stencil and put something else in here. So that's our project for today. I hope you guys enjoy that. Quick, simple project, super easy, wonderful results. 
Um, if you guys enjoyed today's um, video, please be sure and subscribe. If you hit the bell, you guys will get a notification whenever we upload a new video, which we're planning on weekly or two a week. We haven't decided yet, but um, make sure that you guys click and subscribe so you guys don't miss out on any more YouTube, tu any more tutorials. Um, I'll put my link below, but you guys can find me at www.roycycled.com. Thank you so much. You guys have a blessed day.